welcome back to Hey Manager. This week we'll be looking at the first draft for your fancy Premier League teams and which players to put into your side to get the best value for money. I'll run you through the whole team, starting from the goalkeeper all the way to the strikers and then take you through the last four substitutes for your side. The first player I've decided to put into my side this year is Aaron Ramsdale. The new Sheffield United signing, formerly of Bournemouth, had a great season last season despite Bournemouth getting relegated. Last year he picked up 5 clean sheets and conceded 62 goals, which isn't fantastic, but for a relegation side he's done very very well. He managed 128 saves and received 13 bonus points, which accounted towards his 126 points for the season. This year at Sheffield United under Chris Wilder, I think Aaron Ramsdale with a great defence in front of him can put in a very good shift for your side. For only £5 million and being selected by only 6% of people, I think he's a great addition to your sides. In defence, we will have Aurier and Tierney. Tottenham's start to the season is relatively simple. The first two games consisting of Everton at home and Southampton away, followed up by Newcastle, means for the first three weeks you'll be looking at a decent run for Tottenham. Aurier is favoured by Mourinho to play that right back position and likes to get forward to get some assists. Tierney as well, but playing on the left hand side under Arteta for Arsenal, looks to have a great season ahead of him. Arteta favoured the left back in the last few games of the season and played in the FA Cup final where he looked very good at delivering crosses. He only played 986 minutes last season getting 2 assists and a goal. He picked up 4 bonus points which accounted towards his 42 points for the season but missed a lot of it through injury. Moving on to the main man in the defence, it's Trent Alexander-Arnold. He had a fantastic year for the title winners Liverpool last season getting 15 assists and 4 goals. In the games he played, he managed to also achieve 14 clean sheets, which is vital for a defender. Liverpool's defence looks solid again this season, and I'd like to think he'll achieve the same amount of clean sheets. He picked up 24 bonus points last season and got a massive 210 points. But for 7.5 million, I think he might be a risky player to put into the side, but he's definitely going to reap you the rewards. He's been picked by 56.5% of players, which means he's a very popular pick, but someone I think should definitely be in your side. Now we'll move on to the midfielders. My first pick has been Hakeem Zayek. The new player that joined Chelsea from Ajax looks to be an instant impact player. He's currently priced at 8 million and I believe can have an immediate impact for the side. He'll be playing down that right wing and looking to get crosses into Timo Werner, the new striker. Chelsea have also been rumoured to sign Havertz in the coming days, a player that likes to run into the box and use his head. So that'll also impact Zayek's assist record. A player who's proven in the Champions League that he can get goals and assists for £8 million, I think he's a great addition to your side. Alongside Zayek, I've chose James Ward-Prowse and Harvey Barnes. James Ward-Prowse has been in the Premier League for around 8 years and last season had his first big campaign for Southampton. He picked up 5 goals and 4 assists in 3,420 minutes, which is near enough 38 games. He managed to achieve 117 points and has been averaging 90 points in the last few seasons. Southampton looked very strong in Project Restart and I think for only 6 million he's a great addition to your side. Alongside that Harvey Barnes, another young prospect coming through at Leicester, had a great first season in the starting lineup. He picked up 10 assists and 6 goals in only 2,075 minutes which is unreal. He picked up 9 bonus points and managed 133 points for the season. He looks to be a long term replacement for Mares who played out on that right wing but likes to cut inside and perhaps have a few shots on goal. Leicester struggled towards the end of last season and Harvey Barnes played quite consistently but unfortunately through injury missed a few games. This season, from the off, Leicester looked to have a great fixture list with West Brom and Burnley being the opening two games. For the first two game weeks I could see him picking up a few points. The first of the two big players I've picked is Aubameyang. Last season he picked up 22 goals and 5 assists in 3136 minutes which is around about 36 games. Aubameyang who played as a striker last season has now been converted to a left winger so has been put in the midfielder section. He has a whopping price tag of £12 million which is quite a hefty fee. He managed to pick up 205 points for a very disappointing Arsenal side but 35% of people as you can see have decided to take a risk in Aubameyang and I can see why. I think next season as a midfielder he's going to pick up even more points because as he scores as a midfielder he'll be picking up 5 points instead of 4. So for me, Aubameyang next season will probably pick up around about the same points as De Bruyne, being around about 240. Alongside Aubameyang, I've decided to pick up Hung Min Son. The Tottenham midfielder was very very good last season, picking up 13 assists and 11 goals in only 2,478 minutes. The passionate midfielder is a favourite of Jose Mourinho as well, and for this reason I think he'll probably play a lot more next season. He did miss a few games through injury, and also the two red cards he accumulated. He managed 18 bonus points and got 169 points for the season, 
which I think he can improve on again. He'll also be playing in the Asia Cup, which occurs around about February, so he'll be missing a few games through that. Despite this, Son for 9 million is a great pickup as he assists and scores consistently for many a many season. He's been selected by 24% of people, and I think for the first two game weeks at Tottenham, again, as the same as Aurier, he'll be picking up a few goals on assists. Now we'll move on to the strikers. Fancy Premier League this season has taken a big turn, with a lot of the strikers who play out on the left or right wing being put into that midfielder position. The first striker I chose this season is Oliver McBurney. The Sheffield United forward had a very mixed season last season. He picked up six goals in only 2,105 minutes, but occurred to come off the bench a lot. He does like to play a very defensive forward position, but he does play in that attacking role as to why he's a forward on Fancy Premier League. He did pick up six bonus points and got 86 points for the season in very few minutes. For only six million, he's a very good backup striker and he's only been picked by 1% of people, so you could probably capitalize on the points he does pick up throughout the season. And the final player for my starting 11 is Richarlison. Everton have struggled in recent years, but Richarlison has been very consistent, getting 13 goals in both seasons and five assists last season. He looks to be Everton's starting striker, alongside Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Everton have quite a... Everton's opening game is Tottenham, but following that, they have West Brom, Crystal Palace and Brighton, who I think they can win against. Under Ancelotti, Everton look a much stronger side, and I think Richarlison as a striker could possibly pick up a lot of points for the next season. For only £8 million as well, he looks a very good value for money. He picked up 165 points last season, and with only 10% of people picking him, he could be maybe a hidden gem. Finally, we we'll look at the substitutes bench. Normally in Fantasy Premier League, people have two different tactics. They like to pick a very average side throughout, or they do like to drop below the budget so they can get bigger budget players in their starting 11. My substitutes bench consists of Jordan Pickford, Cody, Lascelles, and Che Adams. I've chosen Jordan Pickford because I think, as an Everton keeper, you're going to be making a lot of saves. Last season he picked up 117 points and played every single game. Last season, Everton didn't have a great season. Pickford picked up 117 points, which in comparison to his previous two seasons where he got 161 and 145, it wasn't his best season. Under Ancelotti, I believe a different tactic might suit Jordan Pickford and he can get back to his best. Next is Connor Cody. The Wolf centre-back plays a Libero role where he sits between the two centre-backs but plays balls through the middle. Like Jordan Pickford last season, he played every single game for Wolves, picking up 13 clean sheets and 118 points overall. He only costs £5 million to put into your side as well and he's great value for money. With only 6% of people choosing him, he can might get a few assists as well for you. Next up I've chose Jamal Lascales. The French centre-back for Newcastle is very consistent throughout the season. Steve Bruce has revitalised Newcastle and he looks to be a great starting player for Steve Bruce. He picked up a goal last season with his head, which is one of his main attributes, but only got 8 clean sheets with Newcastle. He looks to average around about 100 points a season, but for only 4.5 million, I think he's great value for money. Finally, I've chosen Shea Adams, who had a breakthrough season for Southampton last year. He only played 1,095 minutes alongside Danny Ings. He picked up 4 goals and 4 assists and actually managed to get 78 points despite playing such few minutes. I think this Southampton side, who looked to have improved drastically through Project Restart, could be the dark horse to the Premier League next season. This explains why I've chosen Shai Adams, and for only 6 million, I think he'll be a great addition to your side. So this concludes my first draft for this year's Fantasy Premier League. With a few more transfers going through, there might be a few changes to which I'll give you my complete draft for when I do start the season. Leave a comment below letting me know who you'd put in the side and why you would. Also let me know if you think there's any hidden gems within the game. As ever, if you did like the video, please leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I shall catch you in the next episode. Ciao.